Uh, one of the uh, issues that we're having to deal with in this field is the root knot nematode. And uh, you can see from these galled roots where the nematode gets its name. Uh, nematodes, for those who, who are not familiar with them, are microscopic roundworms that live in the soil. And so as, as we begin to think about the damage that's done, think about the plant and how the water flows from the roots to the, to the, uh, to the plant. Uh, there's, root knot impairs the root system to such a degree that water uptake and translocation is pretty well shut down. Controlling nematodes is sometimes pretty difficult. The options that are available to the farmers uh, are genetic resistance, choosing a, a resistant variety. The unfortunate truth of that, however, is many of our early maturing varieties are susceptible, and those that are, are most popular, many of them are susceptible. So this is Mr. Felix Smart, uh, who, is, who owns this farm. Uh, Felix, what's your plan for managing this nematode over the next few years? Well, I think that uh, we will put it in corn next year and then maybe two years because uh, we have a weed issue also. Right. So we're going to control that, try to get that under control, and then probably rice. Excellent. And, Excellent. Then, and, then, and then try soybeans and kind of see where we stand from there. This is going to be a, a, an excellent rotation on a lot of levels. Certainly the weed management is a separate issue from the nematode management issue, but all of them have to be done. Uh, from a rotation standpoint relative to nematode management, corn is a host for root knot, for this root knot, but it's not really damaged much by the nematode. So the crop can be grown profitably here in the presence of the nematode. Rice, on the other hand, is not a host and the flooding actually will kill the nematodes. A lot of the nematodes won't survive a year of flood. Uh, for more information, you can contact your local county extension agent or you can go to www.uaex.edu.